Global commodities are coming down and have been correcting since June. Uh, if we look at the main factors, the first one, most important one, is rate hikes. Rate hikes do matter. And the fact that central banks have been increasing rates have certainly reduced the exuberance on the commodity market. The second one is the China slowdown. We cannot forget the Chinese slowdown because the reality is that when China slows down and and it does so as aggressively as it has done in the past uh, quarters, uh, that means a lot less demand for copper, for oil, for natural gas, coal, etc. All those factors are temporary. The other ones that we need to pay attention to are underinvestment. The level of underinvestment in energy, particularly in fossil fuels, is so aggressive that the risk of having problems of supply in the near future is not small. Not only just in fossil fuels, if we look at the lack of investment in copper, lithium, cobalt, the reality is that the requirements of mining to deliver the level of growth in electric vehicles and renewables that are expected to happen in the next few years requires so much, so much mining that it's very difficult to believe that that is going to be done without a much larger increase in capital expenditure, but certainly with an abrupt reaction in prices. So, right now, what we are seeing is a very logical weakness in the commodity spectrum driven by the slowdown of China and the risk of stagnation, but the supply problems and the underinvestment problems need to be analyzed properly because that is probably the biggest challenge in the next five years.